Welcome to online preparatory webinar for national certification examinations being conducted for energy manager and energy auditors. Myself Bhavesh Patel, I am from Vithalam Consultant, having more than 25 years of experience. Today I will talk about important points for exams. So the reference or guidebooks will be given by NPC in a hard copies and that includes in the fees which you have submitted given to the NPC. At the same time from the website www.aipnpc.org you can download the soft copy along with last five years question papers along with the answers the same can be downloaded from the website. I talk about the books. Book number one is the general aspects of energy management and energy audit and the topics covered under is energy scenario, energy conservation act and related policies, basics of energy and its various forms, energy management and audit, material energy balance, energy actions planning, financial management, project management, energy monitoring and targeting, energy, environment and climate change and new and renewable energy sources that can that is a syllabus for paper number one paper number two or book number two it's a energy efficiency in thermal utilities having a syllabus fuel and combustions boilers steam system furnace insulation and refractories fbc boilers co-generations wastage recovery and the heat exchangers for paper number three book number three it's a energy efficiency in electrical utilities the topics are covered electrical systems, electric motors, compressor system, HVAC and refrigeration system, fans and blowers, pumps and pumping system, cooling tower, lighting system, DGSAT, energy conservation in buildings and ECBC. Paper number four, book number four, it's energy performance for equipment and utility system. Topics covered will be boilers, furnaces, Cogeneration turbine, basically gas and steam turbines, heat exchangers, electric motors, variable speed drives, fans and blowers, water pumps, compressors, HVAC systems, then related to finance, financial analysis, energy performance in different industries. Number one, it's a power plant, then there's a steel industry, then there's a cement about building and commercial establishments, and there's a last industry is a textile industry. To get energy manager certificate, you have to clear paper number one, two, and three. And if you can clear paper number four along with number one, two, three, you will be certified as an energy auditor. Normally, exam will be conducted on Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, there is a paper number one and paper number two having, having a break of one and a half hour. This one and a half hour is very crucial because the paper number one ends at 12.30 and second number will start at 2, 2 p.m. During that, you have to finish your lunch as well as you have to change your mind from paper number one to paper number two. So it is always advisable to go for a office lunch. On Saturday, on Sunday, there's a paper number three and paper number four having one and a half hour break. Paper number four is a open book exam. So you can have your good lunch, no issue. You have to score 50% in each paper. This is an important note. All parts of the question should be answered at one place. Many times you will see in a long descriptive questions, there is L5A and L5B having five marks or four, five marks each, or you can say four marks plus six marks. Participants write alpha A first and then there is another answer and alpha B later on, maybe after attending two, three or more questions. It is always advisable to go for alpha A first. If you don't know about alpha B, then leave the space. But write in a serial alpha A plus and then there's alpha B. Remember, it's not a memory test, it's an IQ test. For paper number one, two, three for EM, 
having a 150 marks, there is a 3 hours, 9.30 to 12.30 for paper number 1 and paper number 3 and 2 to 5 for paper number 2 on Saturday. There is no options, all the questions are compulsory. The paper style is that it is divided in 3 sections, section 1 consists of MCQs, 50 numbers having 50 marks, so you can say 33% is a weightage. There is no negative marking for MCQ, so don't leave unattended. Section number 2 and 3 is normally, it's a numerical and theory. Normally, it's 65 to 70 percent weightage to the numerical and 30 to 35 percent weightage to theory. While section 2 is a short descriptive questions, 8 numbers having 5 marks each, so total 40 marks. Section number 3, long descriptive questions, 6 numbers having 10 marks, so total 60 marks. While paper number 4, which is for the energy auditor, open book exam, you can refer applied 4 additions guidebooks. Remember, it's books, so all the 4 books can be referred. No other books or written material will be allowed. Degree of the difficulty will be comparatively much higher than the other papers. 100 marks, 2 hours, 2 to 4 on Sunday. It's a 3 sections. Section 1 brief questions, 10 numbers having 1 mark each, so 10 marks. It's a basically to test your concepts and practical knowledge about energy management. Section number 2, it's a short numerical questions, 2 numbers, 5 marks each, so total 10 marks. While section number 3, it's a long numerical questions. It's a four numbers having 20 marks, so total 80 marks. Obviously, it's an open book, open book exam, so there is no chance of any theory. All will be on either concepts or numericals. In section number three, question number fourth, answer any one of four questions. Because there are five industry, out of five, four questions will be asked. And out of four, you have to answer one. Those industries are thermal power station, cement, steel, building and textile. Normally, the numerical questions comes either from basics of concepts about energy, material energy balance, about financial management, project management, energy monitoring, targeting for paper number one. Then paper number two, combustions, properties of the steam, efficiency and the performance measurements for boiler and furnace about insulations, electrical systems, electric motors, transformers and DG set, lighting, pumps and pumping system, compressor system, refrigeration and air conditioning, fans and blowers, cooling towers, then cogen, that is cogeneration and dry generations, vapor absorption system, VAM. For paper number four, up. It's a multi, you can say combine anything comes from anywhere. Apart from that, there are five industries, thermal power station, cement, steel, textile, and building. Okay, paper number two, there is a heat exchangers too. Now I'll give you some tips for numerical questions. Note down formulas, relations, and important points some in some important reference sections of your practice book. Now to clear the paper number 4, you must learn units thoroughly. If you have a more control in units, you can easily clear this paper. You can easily clear the exams. But if you have a not proper control on the units, if you have not digested the unit properly, then it's really a challenge. Must remember the SI units of all physical quantities and their relations in MKS system because there are two systems normally we follow that is SI and MKS. Do not miss to write the units in each steps. Whenever you are answering the numericals, even the in intermediate answers, always try to write the units because there is a step marking too. 
if you are considering a standard value for any measurement which is not given in the numerical always write assuming the value of for example in the numerical the pressure is equal to 6 bar given now this 6 bar can be either absolute also or gauge also so when you are when you are using the equations p1 v1 upon t1 is equal to p2 v2 upon t2 obviously in this equations this pressure is supposed to be absolute and if it is in numerical it is not given it is not clearly mentioned that it is given as a 6 bar only then as write down a note that assuming the given pressure is absolute and then you can do calculate but if in the numerical if it is given 6 bar g g means gauge then you cannot it's clearly given the in the numerical that the pressure given is the gauge pressures then you have to convert that gauge pressures to absolute pressures do remember to consider absolute temperature while using the gas equations you should have a clear concepts of the relations between kilo mole mass and volume of the gas this is very important for combustion calculations if the pressure given as a gauge pressures then do not forget to convert to absolute during using the gas laws or maybe some finding finding out the properties do not get flustered with the long questions these are usually easier to solve go just note down what is given and then note down what is to be find out if the intermediate value of your while solving the numericals if the intermediate value is coming less than 1 then take four decimals minimum for example the intermediate value is coming 0.98 then it is always advisable to go for 0.9856 for further calculations same way if the intermediate value is greater than one value let's say 1.2 then it is advisable to go at least two decimal that is 1.28 or 1.23 so that your final answer will be more accurate so this is a very important tip for an intermediate value you must have a four decimal uh, intermediate value if the value is less than one then go at least four decimal and then proceed the further calculations if it is a greater than one then at least two decimals so that your answer will be more accurate Tips for theoretical questions, prepare the answer of questions, ask, just go through the last five, year, five to six years papers and prepare yourself in your own words. From that you can understand what kind of the theory questions will be asked. Because for theory questions, every book have a 300 pages. So you cannot remember, you cannot, you know, um, always prepare yourself for all the theories. But from each chapter, you can come to know that such questions can be asked in the theory. Remember, do not write large paragraphs. Write only the relevant points with bullets or some serial number as what we do in presentations. Nobody has a time to read your story. Decide number of points to be given based on the marks allotted to the questions. For example, if the question is that write down the energy conservation measures in compressed air system and if that questions has a five marks then do not write more than seven because there are 20 if you write your 20 you will get the five if you write seven correctly you will get the five five marks by writing more than seven you are just wasting your time always try to add diagram whenever possible because diagrams speak more than the your words do not leave any question or answers write something using your common sense or ideas because you have some years of experience as far as energy operations maintenance or you can say planning is concerned 
This is a challenge. Try to write in clear and legible handwriting, which is a challenge. Your handwriting should be readable. Then there's a tips for MCQs. As I said, there's a 50 marks, 30% weightage in paper number one, two, and three. There's no negative marking for MCQs. So don't leave any unattended. Now those who are joining with us for online training for this DE, EMEA exams, we will give more than 1100 MCQs for the practice. A link on a Google form, chapter wise. Everyone will get user ID and the password. They have to just answer, open the Google form, use, enter your user ID and password, just answer. It will take hardly 15 minutes. You will get this course, which are the right and which are the wrong answer. And you will get the right answers for each wrong questions, whatever the wrong answers you have given. And it will take hardly 15 minutes. So if you can, if you do practice of each set at least five times, then your score in this MCQ section number one will be bad, will be very good. And that score will, you know, give you the, you will win the half battle. Now from where to start learning? Start with book number one, chapter number three, basics of energy and its various forms. That's the basics fundamental. Then chapter number five, material energy balance before going for any chapter in any book. Obviously, you can go for financial management, project management, because it's related to some different topics, not the energy. Before reading any chapter in book number four, same chapter is available in either book number one, two, or three. That should be gone through first. Reason? In book number four, it's straight away performance analysis. But concept clarity and the theory part is available in same chapter either in book number one two or three now those who are joining with online training program our suggestion my suggestion is that you should go through the course once have some curious doubt and questions because so that you will be ready to ask the questions in book number four chapter number 16 pulp and paper industry and 17 fertilizer industry it's only for reference. It's not a part of the examination. So don't try to waste your time to read that chapters, even though you are working in pulp and paper or you can say fertilizers. Invest that time after the examination is over. So that's all about tips for important points about the exams. Thank you very much. As I said, I'm Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Consultant. Gmail, my mail ID is Vithalam. V I W T H A L M at the red gmail.com. Those who want to take the advantage of online preparatory training, normally it will be conducted on every Sunday around six days into seven hours, that is 42 hours for energy manager and eight days or eight Sundays into seven hours. So 56 hours for energy auditor. So if you are interested, drop a mail, we will get connected to you. So thank you very much and all the best for the exams.